problems associated with uh, contaminated needles and so on, it's deemed to be a, a cost-effective measure. The problem is that many people are going to say making it easier or making it safer uh, to take drugs is simply going to encourage people to take drugs or indeed to come to Brighton to take drugs. I think that's something that needs to be um, properly addressed, of course, and the way to do that is to look at the evidence of other uh, drug consumption rooms. And the evidence that, that I've seen so far seems to suggest that that doesn't happen. It doesn't make uh, wherever the drug consumption room is uh, a magnet for other people outside of the city or indeed encourage more people to take drugs. If that were the case, that would certainly be a very good reason for not going ahead with it. That's why we want to look at the evidence. But the evidence that I've seen suggests that's uh, not the case. And of course, the controversy around these rooms is very similar to the controversy that was first around when needle exchanges were first set up. Needle exchanges have been around now for probably 20 years and people have accepted the fact that they have saved thousands upon thousands of lives. Um, so I, I think that people, once they understand a bit better uh, how these um, rooms would work when, when the evidence is put in front of them, I think we can perhaps address some of those very understandable concerns. And if it comes to providing good quality heroin rather than tainted heroin under the law is that a decision which brighton could take or would it have to come back to national parliaments well it's interesting there are already three or four places around the country including brighton where there are projects that are providing uh, clean heroin as opposed to uh, street heroin and obviously the advantage of that is not only that the um that what you're giving people is, is is cleaner and less problematic in terms of their health but it's under a supervised system whereby over time you can reduce the uh, amount of, of drugs that they're taking and hopefully get them onto those pathways to recovery because all of this is about trying to reduce harms trying to get people off drugs onto uh, abstinence and recovery the uh, examples that, that I've seen where cleaner heroin has been provided has helped to do that. Uh, my understanding is that um, we would probably need a green light from government because these four places that are already doing that had to go through a, a, a government acceptance process. But given that it's already happening in Brighton, were that to be a decision that people wanted to go ahead and do that, I, I don't imagine that that would be an obstacle. Caroline Lucas, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you very much. This is Bolton & Co. Still to come before 2 o'clock. I'm going to be speaking to a firefighter about the huge blast in Texas, which has killed up to 15 people. The Right to Die campaigner Debbie Purdy will give us her reaction to a case brought by a paralysed man, a man paralysed in a car crash. And why David Beckham has teamed up with Sky.